Hey, thanks for joining us. In this video, we're gonna look at and go through the steps on how to transfer all your data from an old iPhone to a new iPhone. I've specifically got myself an iPhone 10 and we've got a new iPhone 12. We're gonna go through how to transfer everything from this one over to this one. Please also remember to subscribe, clicking on that bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. I really would appreciate it. Let's go through the steps right now. If you've got yourself an old iPhone, you've got yourself just a brand new iPhone, you wanna know how to transfer the data from one over to the other. We wanna transfer everything. We don't just wanna transfer all of your settings, but also all of your photos, all of your applications, all of your saved game files, everything exactly as it is on your current phone set up on the new phone. Now what you will need to consider before you even get started is that your new phone has enough storage to be able to transfer everything from your old phone to your new phone. So if you've got an old phone and for example, you've got a 128 gig iPhone, whatever that version may be, and then your new phone, you got 64 gig, then you won't be able to transfer everything from your old to your new. So what you're gonna need to do is you may need to go into your current phone delete some stuff that you've got on there. Perhaps you've downloaded TV shows or movies off Netflix, off Apple TV, whatever it may be, photos, videos that you've recorded. Make sure that you have enough storage on your new phone to be able to store everything from your current phone. Now there are three general ways to transfer everything from your old phone over to your new phone. We're gonna be covering just the one, which is the easiest way to do it. But the three essentially are, you can do it over iCloud. That's the very first option. If you have a paid iCloud account, you may already have a full backup of all of your phone, your current phone, to be able to back up onto the iCloud. The thing you have to consider is that iCloud by default is free, but it doesn't have that much storage. So you have to have a paid account that gives you a lot more storage, and then you're essentially backing up all of your phone onto the cloud that will take a lot more time as well because it has to go via the internet to back up to the cloud. You then get your new phone, you set it up, you configure it with iCloud, and then you download all the data back onto your new phone. The second option is to do it via a computer. You have your current phone, you plug it in to the lightning port on the bottom into a USB port on your computer, whether that be a Mac or a PC, and then you back up everything over iTunes or the Finder or whatever music app you've got on your phone that you use for backing up your iPhone. Another consideration is that you need to have enough storage on your computer to be able to do that. Nowadays, a lot of newer PCs, a lot of newer Macs have got SSD hard drives, so there's not as much capacity available. So in this case, this is a 256 gig phone. I need at least, if this is full, for example, I need at least 256 gig free on my computer to be able to back up everything on here onto my computer first. And only then can I then transfer everything off my computer back onto my new phone. Now the great thing is that newer versions of the iOS software allow you to do a direct transfer from your current phone to your new phone just by them being close to one another. And that is the method that we're going to be going through today. You don't have to have a computer, you don't have to have an iCloud account, all you need is your current phone, your new phone, and then you're transferring all the data over the air directly from one phone to another. Awesome, awesome feature, and it makes transferring all of your data very, very easy. All right, so we've got our current old iPhone on the right, this being an iPhone 10, and this one on the left being our brand new iPhone 12. I've done all that I need to do on the iPhone on the right, it's ready to go and I've got my new iPhone on the left and I'm just gonna go and swipe up. Here is the great thing is you'll see that the right phone automatically has seen the iPhone to the left and it's now telling me to set up a new iPhone. It's got my Apple ID listed right there and of course that needs to be configured firstly on your current iPhone for this to work really, really well. But all we have to now do is select continue. Here is the great thing is now it is ready to go. You'll see that the left phone has got this little image here, this little unique image. And on the right, it's got this little circle which is now linking up to my camera. So I'm gonna hold my phone up to the camera and there we go. Enter the passcode of your other phone. 
Okay, so this is now asking me the, for the passcode on this particular phone right here. So I can put that in right to there. The left iPhone is now in the process of activating. So just with that, it's already logging in itself in to the Apple ID, which is excellent. So it's a seamless process. And now it's activating it to make sure that the phone is legitimate. Now it's asking me to set up my face ID. So you can do this now, you can also do it later. In my case, I'm gonna do it later, just for the purpose of this demo, but I would recommend doing your Face ID now. So transfer data from EA iPhone. This is the EA iPhone and it's saying, if you are moving from EA iPhone, you can transfer all its data and settings directly from this phone to this phone. So it also is recommending to make sure that they're connected to power, uh, just in case the in the middle of the process, the actual power runs out on your iPhone. Both of mine have got quite enough power, so I'm not gonna be doing it for now. But you can see it also shows me an estimate transfer time of about an hour 45. So if you're happy with this, you can now select continue. There is also other options available where I can select right here just so that you can see what other options are here. So here are some of the options that we talked about earlier. You can restore your iPhone from an iCloud backup, restore it from a Mac or a PC backup, directly from an iPhone, which is what we were gonna do or even move it from an Android. Hey, you've moved from an Android to an iPhone, good on you. Or don't transfer anything and just we leave it blank. Of course, what we're doing, and in the event that it hasn't automatically picked up your phone, uh, your old phone that is, we're gonna select transfer directly from iPhone because that is essentially the steps that we're gonna be following here. So we'll move all the data off this particular phone, which is called EA iPhone, over to this phone. We can select continue. So there is a component now where it's setting up your Apple ID. You've got some terms and conditions which you can read through and agree. And here is an option around a express settings setup. So you can just use the settings below or customize them individually. In our case, we're gonna make it very, very easy. So we're just going to let it do its default and use the express settings. So we're gonna select continue. You can add your credit cards, your debit cards, etc. using Apple Pay. We can do this now, select continue or you can set up later. So because I have an Apple Watch, it has picked this up. Do you want to use my Apple Watch with this iPhone? And yes, I do, so I'm gonna say continue. Improve Siri and dictation, iPhone analytics, so essentially all the stats of how your iPhone is performing, do you allow those to be sent? And then similarly with the app developers, do you wanna send Apple uh, analytics around the apps? So as it says right here, your other devices include purchases from iTunes and the App Store that were made with a different Apple ID. Enter the Apple ID password for your Apple ID to restore these purchases. And the transferring of your data should now commence. And you should see that right here, we've got the old phone, the new phone, and it says it's transferring data, which is excellent. So this is gonna take a fair bit of time. Obviously, the more data you have, the longer this process will take. So now we can just leave this and we'll check back once the transfer has completed. So there you have it. The transfer is complete from the old iPhone over to the new iPhone 12. So your new phone should now be set up. All the data has been moved from your old phone to your new phone. All of your apps, all of your photos, all of your data, should be on there and your new phone is all ready and set up. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for spending the time. As always, please do like this video if you did find it helpful. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this worked or if it didn't work for you. And as always, remember to subscribe, clicking on that button and on the bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Thank you again for spending the time, really appreciate it. We will see you next time.